Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. This is our first story of the day. My name is Elliot Morgan. And my name is Lay Newton. We're going to give you some creepy robot news. What? Scientists have started using metallic snake robots on hearts, prostate cancer, and other crazy places. These so-called snake bots will carry tools with them throughout the body, and by tools, I mean things like scissors and forceps and tiny cameras. As it stands, these surgical robots are powered by tethers that humans control, but scientists and surgeons and other smarty type people say the day is just around the corner when these robots will flow through our bodies freely. Ooh. That's exciting. Dr. Michael Argenziano stated, it won't be very long before we have robots that are nanobots, meaning they will actually be inside the body without tethers. It's like the ability to have little hands inside the patients, as if the surgeon had been shrunken and was working on the heart valve. That's not what it's like. You don't get to build tiny robot snakes and then pass them off as surgeons. They're not surgeons, they're snakes. We covered that already. It's okay, Elle. It's creepy. I know. These new creations function best when they're task specific. And Argenziano was quick to explain that these things are master slave devices. How he chose it and his snake robot will hopefully help reduce the costs and duration of surgeries. These new snake robots will allow surgeons to operate with less damage to the body. One major use of these robot tools is prostate operations. They can cut out cancerous tumors and more effectively decipher which parts should not be cut. These new devices are also getting more advanced sensors despite the fact that they're also getting smaller. These new sensors could lead to blood testing and other in-body tests. And in the non-medical field, and this is where it gets legitimately creepy, there are also large snake robots that can climb up things and then look around with a little robot eye for things. The major problems with the robot technology is that robots can often perform a human task far better than humans, but they can't perform the same amount of tasks that humans can. And to cap all of this crazy robot news off, expert Manuela Velosa does robot research and will have two teams of robots play soccer, but her team of soccer robots would use the same play over and over again because of programming that rewards them based on their successes. So they ended up winning because they were exploiting the other team's weaknesses, which they had identified. Velosa stated, it was programmed by me, but it looked to me as they learned. I believe that we are much closer to having robots be able to coexist with humans. The beautiful thing is you see the robots learning. Hey, hey Elliot? Daily. I want I want to go home. See my family. You know, just just in case, you know? Whole apocalypse thing. Did she say that she sees the robots learning? That's what she said. Yeah. Like really learning? Yeah. Like cognitive thought process? Yeah, well, in a way, I guess. No, I'm going home. So would you let a tiny robot swim around inside of you and why or why not? Let us know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcebed.com for our five daily stories and everything else we've ever done. And I'm Lee Newton. I'm Ellie Morgan. I do not, no. I'm going home. I'm, I don't, I'm going home. We, we, I, we, okay, we carpooled. <laughs>